How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you a workaround for this annoying black box that you get when you try to use game capture when you're trying to capture a PC game. Now I'm going to be showing you two other sources here in Streamlabs OBS that will be good workarounds if game capture doesn't work. But before I get into that, I want to also show you guys this here. This is from Streamlabs themselves and it goes into some steps on how you can try to fix the issue, so definitely try these out. But the biggest thing I want you to pay attention to is the last bullet point. It also mentions that some games are also impossible to capture with game capture, such as Destiny 2. Which is valid, because I also have a problem using game capture for Destiny 2 as well, and I'm going to show you that. But you can use game capture for certain games, and I'm going to show you how that works as well. So let's go ahead and jump back over to Streamlabs. So here, we're gonna go ahead and create everything for us. So we got the scene, we're gonna click the plus to create a brand new scene, go over to sources, click on that plus, and you're gonna look for game capture. It says here that it works with most modern computer games. Keyword there is most. Go ahead and add the source, give it a name, add source, and you'll see something like this. Now, for some games, it will automatically populate here. I don't know why some games work and why some games don't, but some games will work here. So what we want to do is go to capture a specific window, and this should allow you to choose the game that you're wanting to capture. As you can see, Destiny 2 does not work, just like they said in Streamlabs, but other games might. So let me show you how another game would work for it using game capture. Okay, so now I have booted up Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And as you can see, it still has capture specific window. And this is in full screen. And right here, it, uh, it will automatically allow me to click on it. And there it is. Even if I was to go to auto, you can see it did that quick flash and it automatically picks it up. So again, I don't know what makes the games work and what doesn't, but this is just proof to show you that game capture does work, just not with every single game. So let me show you how it will work with the other sources that I want to mention. All right, so this is a blank slate, just like before. So you have your scene, and we're going to go ahead and add some of the other sources. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the plus, and you're going to look for display capture. Now display capture will display anything that goes onto that display. So not only will it display the game, but if you have any type of alerts that come up there, like if someone joins into a game or if a program needs to be updated, that type of notification is always going to show on that monitor. That's the only downside to display captures, but it is a workaround. So we're gonna go ahead and add the source, give it a name. And as you can see, it's automatically picked it up. Now you can choose Windows 10 if you, if you want to. That way it's dedicated to that capturing method. But if automatic doesn't work, I would say choose Windows 10. And then you can choose whatever monitor you're on. I have three monitors, but it's on my first monitor. And go ahead and hit done, and there you go. Now the other option that you can choose is gonna be window capture. Now this is compatible with most modern browsers and programs, as it says here and it will allow you to capture a specific window. So we're gonna go ahead and add the source, and here will be your dropdown of things you can capture. So we're gonna do Destiny 2, and we'll leave it as automatic, see if it picks it up. If not, then you're gonna to go to Windows 10 again, and it's gonna pick it up. Now on the monitor that you have for this being shown for the window capture, it's gonna have a gold border around it, but the people who are watching the stream and when you're doing recordings, you're not gonna see it. See, you don't see any gold border or anything, but it's just letting you know what monitor you are using for that capture. Now, if that gold border is gonna be a bother for you when you're playing and stuff like that, then this might not be a good option for you, but it is a workaround for when game capture does not work. But as you can see, I have you know everything moving around and you know it's capturing it with no problem, but that is the current workarounds that I have for when game capture does not work. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and helpful guides like this. 
But if you have any questions or if there's anything else you would like to add, let's talk about it in the comment section below. But hopefully this video was helpful to fix the issue that you're running into. And I do appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you so much and take care.